So when do we need to connect CineMaker to the internet? Because it's awesome that you can use it without, but what would be some situations where that would be ideal? So um, whenever you want to do a live stream, of course, you've got to have a good internet connection. Uh, when you want to archive your projects to Dropbox or iCloud, internet connections required. Uh, other than that, it operates just fine without it. And um, But connecting uh, is just as easy as getting your iPad internet access. The only caveat is if you're using a Wi-Fi setup as we have here today, you can connect through a Wi-Fi router uh, or your LTE connection if your iPad has one. Um, and those are your options there. If you are doing a wired setup through Ethernet, you need to make sure your Ethernet network has access to the internet, which means patching an internet router into your switch. Um, unfortunately, you can't use the LTE or Wi-Fi in conjunction with the wired Ethernet. So if you're doing a wired setup, patch the internet through your wired router. Wireless, you can use Wi-Fi or LTE. And what if I don't have a wired router? Good question. Um, and sometimes people don't have access to, to a, a wired connection. Um, so most people, they may not know it, they have a wireless router at home. Uh, they have jacks on the back of it. So if you can run a, a jack from the back of your wireless router into your Cinemaker switch, it's going to work just fine. Mm -hmm. If you have no access to a router or any kind of jack, uh, you'll want to investigate something called a wireless bridge. And that's a, about a $40 box that has antennas. It connects to your wireless network, and then you just plug a jack from there into your uh, Ethernet switch that Cinemaker's operating off of, and that will patch it through for you. Okay, very cool.